are going to show you the vast range of point shoes that exist. There are lots of different brands and we have this fairly small selection here. Um, we're going to use Helena to show how they should fit and she's going to hopefully tell us how it feels as well. Helena has a gap in between her big toe and her second toe um, which once inside a fairly tight fitting shoe will push the big toe over to fill the space and um, can cause bunions which we don't want. So to help with that problem we're going to put these in between <laughs> which is a toe uh, spacer which just fills the gap and stops it from being pushed over. Um, she also, her little toe slightly overlaps the next toe so I'm going to get you to put that in between there just to stop it from rubbing and causing more problems. Um, and also Helena likes to have some bit of padding on her toes, you don't have to have that um, but it does help a little bit. So we'll start with these, let's give these a go. So as she's putting the shoe on, there should be a little bit of resistance um, as they go on. <laughs> if it slips on really easily, then it's likely that they're too big. So if you can stand up for me, and if you cross one foot over the other, that's it. I'll push over as much as you can. Okay, so we're looking for the shoe to be going right into the arch. Um, and this is possibly a little bit short at the moment, <laughs> um, but we don't want too much extra material, which we definitely haven't got there. Uh, if you do the other foot for me. Okay, we're also looking for the back of the shoe to be completely straight against the back of the foot. We don't want any twisting at all. Um, these are nice and straight, uh, but if you just go to first position for me and try a here. And is that feeling a bit restricted? Yeah, I can feel my toes against the end of the shoes. Okay. Um, do, I mean, you want them to be right at the end, but are they feeling quite scrunched? Yeah. Inside? yeah. They look a bit restricted as you bend your knees, so <laughs> maybe if we try slightly longer. Uh, so we've just gone up half the size. Cross one foot over again. Okay. Now we do have bit of a pinch here now in the length which possibly maybe a little bit too much and it's not really arching with your foot at all now. Yeah, I think this foot's a bit longer than the yeah. other one isn't it? So lengthwise for that foot that's not too bad but still not really enhancing your arch very much there. If you just try a deli plie with those then. That's much less restrictive. Okay so, yeah so I think possibly for your smaller foot they are a little bit on the long side um, but I'm not convinced that's a very good shoe for you because it's not really going with your foot very well so yeah, let's just try going up if you can. Okay so and how's that feeling for you? Is it you feeling supported or are you sinking at all? It doesn't feel like it's sinking too much. Okay I think it's worth trying lots of other things because I don't, I'm not sure that's really enhancing your feet as much as some shoes could. So if we take those off now and we'll go move on to something slightly different. So we're moving on to a different brand now to see how that works for you. So if you, so if you cross one foot over the other again. Okay, so this is probably a bit too long. Definitely, and it is actually twisting a tiny bit as well. And this one's a bit straighter, and again, it's your bigger foot, so it is filling the shoe out a bit more. So, this is enhancing your arch a little bit more than the last pair. Um, <laughs> if you just try going PA in first position, okay, and um, how's that feeling? That's fine, that feels fine. Um, they're a little bit baggy around the edges here as well. Um, How's that feeling? Are you feeling supported or sinking at all? They're not really sinking. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it feels okay. Okay. So off 
obviously once the ribbons are sewn on it does help pull this bit up a little bit. Um, there's quite a lot of creasing around here and a big line here which you don't really want to have um, and suggests they're not quite the right shape and possibly a little bit big still. Okay, so as you can see, I was talking about the twisting earlier, this foot particularly is not completely in line with the foot, it twists off this way. Um, and this one, slightly less so, twists off that way as well. Um, I mean, there's lots of reasons why the shoe can twist. One of them is that they might be too narrow, um, but I'm fairly certain this isn't too narrow because there's quite a lot of excess around here. Um, Helena does have quite a tapered foot, so this part of her foot's a lot wider than the back um, of her foot. Um, so it may be that it's a bit tight around here for her, which is then just the shape of the shoe itself not being quite right. You can also see that the front of the shoe here isn't completely straight either, so you can see the twist there as well. Um, so ideally you want it all to be completely in line with the foot everywhere to, to give you the perfect fit. Um, so unfortunately I don't think these are quite good for you either. So a different brand again. Cross one for over again. Okay, so lengthwise, this is now quite a bit better. Um, yeah, so this is looking a lot better in terms of length for both of your feet as well. It seems a bit less uneven. <laughs> um, and the shoe's really nice and flush here. Um, much more than the other pairs were anyway. Um, so if you just tried any PA and see how that feels for you. Yeah, that feels really okay. Okay, and if you try going up onto point. Okay. So we have got a few creases going on here, but as you can see, the back of the shoe is a lot more with your foot than the last pair. Um, if you just go to parallel for me. Okay, so again, there's a bit of an improvement there. You've not got the bulge here this time so much. <laughs> okay, so in comparison to the last pair, there's a lot less twisting. It is a little bit off to the sides again. It's not completely dead centre, but it's not um, the worst thing we've seen. There is a bit of excess here. Um, but it's an improvement on the last pairs, I think. <laughs> How does that feel on point to you? Yeah, it feels quite nice. Yeah. Does it feel better than the last? Yeah, it definitely feel better than the other pair. I feel more like they're hugging my feet. Okay, good. Um, okay, so let's let's keep trying because they're certainly not perfect yet. So. <laughs> so this is actually the same brand as the last pair, but it's a different model. Um, so it's got quite a different shape to the last pair. Um, this one is a lot more tapered, so wider here and narrow towards the back, which is more the shape of hands. But <laughs> so hopefully we should see some improvement. Okay, so these them again and cross off over. So that's not looking too bad. It isn't arching overly with your foot, but I will have to point out these are a hard shank. Um, so they will be quite hard at the moment. Um, so if you try it, I need to And how are your feet feeling in those? Yeah, that's okay. And again, it's not too bad. Um, there is a little bit of twisting happening. If you turn around for me, Helena, we'll just show that. Again, it's just twisting off <laughs> to the side slightly. Um, there is an awful lot less um, excess material, especially around the back of your foot, even in comparison to the last pair. Um, but again, as they're hard and they're not broken in at all, it's not quite arching with your foot, but I'm sure with a bit of breaking in it might become a bit better. <laughs> How is it feeling on point to you? Yeah, it's quite comfortable. They can feel that they're harder shanks, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> And so from the front as well, if you just go parallel, it does give a fairly nice line from the front. Um, 
not too much twisting going on there. Um, again though, we'll keep going and see if we can find something a bit more perfect. Okay, so we're moving on to a different brand of shoe again. Um, again, something a lot more tapered, not too um, different in shape to the last pair. But, um, okay, good. So if we stand up, that's it. Okay, so this is arching a bit better this time. Yeah, so this is really quite nice on this foot, um, particularly it's really enhancing this arch here. It's nice and no excess bits flapping around at the back. Uh, if you just try the new plie, and how's that feeling? Yeah, that feels good. Good. So this foot is twisting a little bit actually um, in this mm. one. Um, however, this foot seems really quite nice. Mm. Um, I think maybe if we try just putting that on again, that foot, sometimes if it's not quite gone on in the right way, it can affect things because it does look really nice on your, on your left foot. So now it's pretty much very straight. If you just turn around for me to face the back. You can see that. So what Helena just did was to make sure her foot had actually gone into the shoe straight. Sometimes it doesn't and it affects the fit of the shoe. Um, so as you can see this is really nice and straight. It's arching really nicely with her foot. But you can just go sideways just to show the profile as well. Um, so it's really nicely sort of enhancing that line. Um, it's not clawing or anything like that. And it's I think, especially once the ribbons are on, this really gets pulled up as well and held in place. Uh, if you just face the front for me, so we can see from the front. Again, really nice line here, completely flush with her foot, no bulgy bits or strange shapes happening. <laughs> um, how are they feeling, Helena? They feel really comfortable. Like, I can feel them fitting my feet, but they have lots of support. Mm. Yeah, and that's what's really important, is you want to feel like the shoe is actually helping you there rather than doing something else entirely to what your feet are wanting to do. Sometimes the shoe's not quite right, the shoe will want to go one way and your foot wants to go another way and it just doesn't work. Can you feel the difference between those and the other pairs? It's Definitely there. these feel much more comfortable. Um, I can really feel them connecting with my feet but as you say helping my feet to do what they want to do. Yeah, good. <laughs> Okay, so I think they're probably the best fit out of these shoes.